And now I'm all wet knotted. All wet knotted into our next story, which is Atmosphere is set to release a limited edition box set, Frida Kahlo versus Ezra Pound. December 9th, 2016. Uh, just in time for Christmas. Just in time. Mixed bag of treats it is, yes? Yeah, it is a mixed bag. They've been putting out digital singles leading up to Fishing Blues. And fans are a little surprised that not one of those ended up on the album. Yep. So... With that in mind, they put it in their own little collector box set ready for Christmas. And I'm ready to purchase it. Well, it's got a, what is it? It's a seven track banger. Seven track banger. And you got Finer Things, and mm -hmm. that features Dem Atlas, and of course, produced by Ant of Atmosphere. Uh, these are all produced by Ant of Atmosphere, so I'm not going to say Ant of Atmosphere after every production for Ant of Atmosphere. But Finer Things, Dem Atlas, This Lonely Rose, Blueprint, and Aesop Rock. I like that one. Yeah, and then you got My Best Half. Mm -hmm. Produced by Atmosphere. And the atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other features. <laughs> uh, then Selma Hayek, which I enjoyed that one when you sent it oh, to yeah. me. I like the cover art. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought that had uh, thought it had Prof in it, but it's not. It's just it's just Aesop or uh, it's just Slug talking about how like you know he was rhyming before it was cool to rap about Coke. Uh huh. So I like that. Uh, uh, -huh, uh -huh. I like that song, and I like Selma Hayek a lot. She's gonna be my third ex-wife. That's the one right there. And then Trying to Fly, featuring uh, Eric uh, Mason. And then uh, you got Fireflies, featuring Greaves. Greaves. Greaves is on that one. Greaves, Greaves. Greaves, Greaves. And then uh, you got Windows, featuring Prof. So maybe yeah, that's, that's the one I was the thinking prof of. One. That's the Prof. And of course, all these are produced by Ant of Atmosphere. Glad that you clarified that for us, Adam. Who, Ant of Atmosphere, or that these are produced by Ant of Atmosphere? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one of those. Uh, so it's, a, it's it's an interesting title. Do you have any inquiries about why? Yeah, tell me. Who Who is this uh, Ezra Pound? Uh, he is a man. Because we all know who Frida Kahlo is. Right. Everybody does. Uh, but uh, Ezra Pound was a controversial poet of the 20th century, mm -hmm. born in 1885 and died in 1972. Mm -hmm. So he's seen a lot of things going on. So when it comes to his poetry, you can imagine... Mm -hmm. You know, the inspiration behind it. He went from, like, basically, like, Industrial Revolution to, like, what, women don't wear bras? He actually came around from when, before women wore bras, to mm -hmm. where they were wearing bras, and then to when they were burning the bras. What a change. What a change what a it change is. What a change you saw. But uh, I was reading uh, at the, the Poetry Foundation, and it states that uh, Hugh Kenner claims that Ezra Pound is the greatest unread poet. Mm. Uh, he's kind of, you know, known for... Uh, was it imagism and precise? Basically, imagism is a precision of imagery and uh, a sharp language. And so when I think of those two things, you got precision of imagery, sharp language, and I'm like, ah, oh, rap. Yep. Rapping. So you use the imagery. And then I was like, well, then where does Frida Kahlo come into play? And I'm just theorizing, everybody. I don't know for a fact why why Slug and Ant chose uh, this title. Chose this title, but um, it wasn't because of Fife Dog. No, 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 it wasn't. But, you know, okay, it's almost like, uh, you know, you got the softer side of Sears. You got the, you got the, the power tools, and that's the mm -hmm. Ezra Pound. You mm -hmm. got the slugs aspect of it, you know, the whole paternal aspect of it, his take, mm -hmm. you know, his masculinity and his sharp tongue. And then you've got the softer side or, you know, his love interest, his better half, you know, Eve took the rib kind of thing, and that's Frida Kahlo. And, uh, the only thing I can really think of is that because Frida Kahlo was kind of around the same era, a little younger, of course, than uh, Pound. She was born in 1907 and died in 1954, the same yeah. year as her on-again, off-again boyfriend who became husband, Diego Rivera. Oh. They were on-again, off-again for basically you know, their early career. And that's kind of what Aesop Rock's uh, song, Lucy, mm -hmm. that, that always sparked a, a little image of Frida Kahlo and Diego Rivera of that on-again, off-again, you know. They appreciated that, was that space. Documented in the Salma Hayek Frida Kahlo film. The Salma Hayek Frida Kahlo film? Oh no. Oh wait, the Diego Rivera thing? Mm -hmm. I haven't seen that. This is just all from old textbook stuff back at TVI when there was it one. It just started flashing into my my mind because I did see that I film. I need to see that film because I heard it's pretty mm -hmm. spot on. So I mm -hmm. need to do that to refresh myself on it. But uh Frida Kahlo actually had such a crazy upbringing. Well, 
basically when she was, I think, maybe early 20s. Could even been late teens. Because, again, I hadn't seen the movie. And these are old textbook thoughts. No, it is. It's in the movie. Uh, okay, yeah. The car accident she got into where yeah. she impaled her uh, uterus. Uh-huh. So that's why a lot of her artwork uh, is like, you know, it's sad, somber, and, uh, you know, motherless child type stuff. She could never conceive. Nope. And that's what a scar coming out of her abdomen is in her her self portraits. And self portraits are because she knew herself best, and so why not paint? She was a narcissist. Yeah, that's okay. Was is that what the movie said? (laughs) (sighs) That explains it. She's like, I got this unibrow. I do what I want. And a communist. And a communist. A communist narcissist, but Adrian, cherished among TD tells us among the world. And I'm a fan. Oh yeah. I'm a narcissist myself. Apparently, my mother tells me. Well, like St. Francis says, you know, I don't you look just at like myself in the mirror because I'm a narcissist. I simply like to watch myself exist. No, I'm in a fog and mist. Oh, damn. You Ponder this. Ponder this. You went even further. I was like, mm-hmm. dark sunglasses. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah, I was lost. And then you, you took it. Um, but so, so to boil all that down, it's like you got Ezra Pound, yep. uh, you know, the male poet. And then you've got, uh, you know, the, the expressionist and impressionistic artist, mm-hmm. uh, abstract and you know, teetering mm-hmm. on realism, mm-hmm. uh, Frida Kahlo, who couldn't there conceive, they are. There they you are. know, so there's like so much draw, not yeah, I guess there's a lot of drama in their lives, but individually, and so you know, Slug's always got uh, you know, his struggle to exist and be who he is, and uh, and uh, you know, current so with which the one's times. ant and which one's slug. Oh damn! You're gonna try and gonna castrate one of them? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't. Is think, that what they're they're not going for that? Well, I don't know. Ant's Hispanic looking, but he's mm-hmm. from the Midwest, so I doubt he is. Yeah, he's pretty white. They couldn't fish. I saw that when it was. We uh, saw that on the making dude, of the Sway fishing, was, fishing dude, blues Sway album. Was, he was, I, I think Sway caught the fish. No offense, Ant. I think Sway because Ant was all about get the hell off this boat. Uh-huh. I think Sway like hooked it and he's like, here you go, Ant. Let's get the hell off this boat. Yeah. I could they be spent wrong. quite a, a bit of time on that boat, though. A lot there's, of time. Like I saw the sun changing. It. I yeah. think one of them got sunburned. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't think either of them are. I think it's just kind of, uh, you know. I mean, I love, I love the title. I love the artwork. And a lot of people don't like the word juxtaposition, but mm-hmm. obviously that's what this uh, cover art insinuates. Uh, but it's, uh, it's the male versus the female, and that's pretty much been Slug's content i mean we've we've been experiencing we, that Ford, in politics all yeah. the way down to to the hippity hoppity and that maybe of why it is now too but mm-hmm. i i wouldn't uh i wouldn't want to say frida kahlo is hillary clinton by any means no. uh, or trump would be no, pound no, no not no. at all um, don't make those comparisons i, I said i wasn't <laughs> i heard you uh, okay good i heard uh, everything you said <laughs> <laughs> my boy was like throbbing <laughs> i heard everything he said oh speaking of that you know what that is from Oh, Her- Harold and Kumar. That no, Harold and Kumar bit it from something else. Bit it from a horror film. Oh, really? Yes, I one that know. you like. Really? Halloween Four. Uh, oh, I don't know if you like Four, but it's from Halloween Four. Yeah, the the dude, you know, the, who's the doctor? Loomis. Is, uh, Loomis. Loomis almost gets. Does set he on, say that? Yeah. No, this is exactly okay. I'll, I'll set it up for you real quick. Mm-hmm. He doesn't say those words, but it's the same uh, framing and same, uh, same scene. Idea. Basically, Loomis gets run over almost by Michael Myers at the gas station, right? Uh-huh. Everything blows up. And then he gets a ride, right? He gets picked up by this farm truck with, like, chicken coop in the back. Looks just like Freak Show's truck. Uh-huh. And he's sitting there in there. And I then, remember And now. he's driving around. Yeah, he's like, oh, Jesus Lord, and this and that. And everything's all Jesus. He's got Jesus memorabilia all over the truck. And that's mm-hmm. exactly what Freak Show had. And, and even the framing. I was and the way the dude was missing his hair it was basically spot on except for Loomis was Harold and Kumar, and Freak Show was the Christian guy, but the Christian guy didn't have the boils on his neck, and they didn't go back to uh, his house where um, the Christian guy, aka Freak Show, says, "Baby, have sex with my wife." So, but basically, framing Harold and Kumar shot with Freak shot. Show was was pretty damn close to Halloween. I'll have to 4. look back on that. You will have to do that. But anyways, back to Frida Kahlo. Other things may happen. That's a disclaimer that we said earlier. They were avoiding 48 states for uh, what we prohibited. Frida Kahlo and Ezra Pound. <laughs> yeah. Because they're always pulling out chicks. It was, you have, uh, you know, a tribute. You have Christina Ricci. Kahlo. Right? Christina Ricci. Oh, yeah. Hayek. Mm-hmm. There's all these tribute songs. So it's kind of a tribute to Frida Kahlo. But the Ezra Pound is maybe uh, Slug's like, yeah, I'm going to mount this one. I got this one. 
got this. I got thanks for your services. I got, got this. this. <laughs> no, I don't know. That's just a, a speculation. But it is. It's an interesting uh, title, Ezra Pound versus Frida Kahlo. And I encourage you guys to get the album and what about listen to each blues? song. What about it? It was dope. Did you like it? I did. Did you know that that there was the the vinyl as well? I did. did Almost we everything. Go over that. Did we during that podcast that that just we, happened right now? Oh yeah, there it is. There it is. Oh, so they're singles for each one. For each one. That's the box set. That's the box so set. So I have to sir. get that now. You I thought they were it. CDs. They said digi packs. You can get digi pack or or you can single? get the the digi pack with the artwork from uh, or the photos by Dan Monick and illustrations by Dave Quiggle. Dave Quiggle. Cover sketches by Kevin Mixdermott. Mm. Dang. Or you can get this vinyl collection, which I think is like forty nine ninety nine. That's not that bad. It's not that bad for that many vinyl. Well, dude, to, to press each vinyl, even to just do a run of 100, I think it's like 1200 bucks. Mm-hmm. And I know they probably did a few thousand of each. And, you know, you get a price yeah. break with the production. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. to get seven singles, and those are 45 or 33 RPM? Oh, I don't, I don't know. All that. Uh, I ain't a DJ. Look it up for me. I'm going to have to take this to the thing. Look it up for me. But I will get into some Fish and Blues stuff because I want to talk about Fish and Blues. We We previewed the album. The album came out. Okay. We got a lot of yes. hits on that video. We did. Thank you. Slug of Atmosphere himself shared that video on Twitter. It was all because of him and Ant of Atmosphere. And we thank you for that, Slug, if you're watching this one. Appreciate if you, it. If you haven't checked out by now, maybe you probably have because we go on our tangents. Fighting for the underdogs. Yeah. Yeah. So we appreciate that share. And we also appreciate that album. And I've been listening to it since it came out. I pre-ordered it. I got the, the tape sent to me from Minneapolis with the really with the fish and blues bumper sticker and i got the fish and blues shirt and i got the fish and blues keychain with like a little uh fish thing i want a fish thing it's like uh what are, what are they called the, the lures with the hook fishing lure fishing lure <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well it depends is so it a jig it's this, it's this awesome is it a rattler it's, it's i don't know it's is it a, awesome, is it a awesome rooster tail little fish with the hook on it you know it's not you don't have this jig but rooster it's tail. spinner I don't know. Panther Martin. He's a Panther Martin. Which y'all been, knows about I Panther Martin. I've only been Martin. fishing twice. They got the Red Devils. Twice. That's all I've done. Was I one of those times? Yeah. I didn't count that little. St- I counted that one. <laughs> I mean, that then, counted. We were in like so and waiting in like the other uh, one hot w- springs. other one was uh, on one of these man-made lakes in New Mexico. I haven't even been fishing in my own hometown Minnesota, much like Slug and Ant had never been fishing in their own hometown. Well, no, and that's why when I was Minnesota. watching it, you know, and I was like, I can't believe these guys never fished. Mm-hmm. I was like, oh, yeah, they're banging out awesome hip hop. Yeah, and they live in the, the city. It's really city hard to do boys. both. And Buck 65, I think, does a little bit of, a little bit of both. You know, mm-hmm. he, got the, he got his fishing song on that. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Flipping and flopping. <laughs> flipping and flopping. <laughs> I love that song. That's the, This right here is Buck 65. Yeah. I like how he changed his voice a bit up. Or when he got all bait, got off that hook about all country an hour and ago. old. Yeah, the slide guitar in that. Woo. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I'm looking at the box set now. Mm-hmm. And there's two versions. There's a 49 and a 54. Oh, that's five dollars for a sticker, guys. Well, I guess things aren't free. Are you looking on Atmosphere's website? Yeah. On Rhyme Sayers? Yeah. Oh, okay. I haven't looked at that yet. Okay, well, I still can't find the... Uh, well, that Fishing Blues pre-order was a steal of a deal. I think Actually, I, only, I lied. I'm on Fifth Element. I think I only... Well, that's the same thing. That's Slug Shop. Oh, so you know everything now. So, <laughs> so anyway, I pre-ordered uh, the Fishing Blues from Fifth Element. I think it was like 30 bucks I spent. I got a t-shirt. I got the tape. I got the bump sticker. I got the fishing lure thing. Oh damn! And then something. So wait, well, okay. And then I got an autographed. And now that I'm paying attention to booklet. You, now that I'm really paying attention uh-huh. to you, is this fishing lure like a little like slug and ant? And it's, ant? A, no, it's like a little. It's the logo, the fishing. But it's on a lure. Logo. But it's on a fishing lure. No, it's keychain. Oh, dude, you guys need to do like a real, like like little slug and little ant heads on jigs. Like if they did some fishing lures with their little heads, I like still little, got it all mint condition. I want to see it. Packaged see it. away and it's I want to see it. Shipping. Where's it at? Box. Make with the visual, but it's a keychain. Okay, I was thinking like. Find it. You keep talking. All right, all right. Well, I, I'm trying to find out if it's a, a f- you know what I imagine, it's going to be a 33 RPM because they are just singles and it's one song and an instrumental. I imagine on each side, mm-hmm. right? I mean, that's what one would make an ass out of you and me about. Well, I 
guess I could just find out. It has such a long title. Frida Kahlo vs. Edra Pound box set. Okay, it's just not... Yeah, I'm going to say that it's 45. They're 45 size. Actually, are any of them fully unsleeved? No. That's okay. We're losing views. It's Maybe okay. I keep no, talking. We're, we're deep into this, this segment. It's okay. Oh, good. They watched the beginning. Oh, good. Oh, good. Well, I, I think hope it's, you're still here. We hope you're here. And listening. I hope you're still listening on that autism. And it's such a long. I'm just going to copy paste this. Like, is this. Is that 45s? Question mark. I'm a 45 RPM burgundy. <laughs> you like that? 33 RPM. Damn, you got that? I got all that except I didn't Yeah, that's a Rattler. They call those Rattlers because they get all wiggly. I didn't get the vinyl. <gasps> I, got, I got the tape. I got the cassette tape. I'd rather be fishing blues. It looks like a harmonica box. I like it. Yeah, and then it's got the yeah, koozie. Yeah, that keychain key is a lure. It's got the koozie. That's just a hookless lure. And they, dude, they got the swivel. It's got a real swivel on it. Damn. Yeah, they did everything and but I the hook. And I got the shirt. Well done. And I got the shirt. I did. And the autograph copy. Thank you, Slug. I wanted that. Why? Where's mine? We ordered it. There's only like so many copies. I had a birthday, and just because yours came two weeks after mine is irrelevant. <laughs> where's my Where's my birthday atmosphere stuff? Yeah, now I feel bad. Yeah, I do too. Cause that was I, a, that I was a self, self purchase. 